Yeah. And you ain't never been with a chick this bad. The mother girls that you had. Baby, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> What's up, everybody? What's up, gang? Welcome back to my channel. Today it's gonna be a, a real funny little video I got for y'all. I got a little, a little show and show for y'all today. So today's video is going to be about the most shocking most wild customers i've ever experienced working in a restaurant like the stuff you deal with as a server is so crazy y'all like y'all would not believe it so let's get into the video the first like kind of crazy customer i experienced this is that one of my newer jobs um this um guy these two older gay white guys came in. They were sitting at the booth. They were very, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I was giving them their waters or whatever. And I asked them, hey, do you want something else to drink or whatever? I think they ordered like orange juice or something. So I went back, got their ju juices, came back. I was like, are you guys ready to order? And one gay guy says to me, he says, hmm, yes, I'm ready to order, but... I'm, I'm a little bit confused. I don't know. I can't decide what I want to eat. So I was like, it's okay, baby. I got you. So I was like, all right. What, you, what, what are you torn between? This man, y'all. Y'all ready for this? Is Y'all ready for this? Yo. This man looks at me with a straight face and says, I don't know if I want the strawberry French toast or the eggs been my dick. <gasps> eggs been my dick he said oh i should get the eggs been my dick and i was like yeah you should get the eggs been my dick and then he giggled and he was like ah! and i was like okay <laughs> and that's what he ordered y'all that was like so funny to me like the get and his partner was just like i'm so but it was just so funny to me like number two all right the second craziest customer like funniest customer i served this was in older um she was an old white lady and she i think she's french but she comes in with her son all the time her son's um really nice and but they come in together and she usually gets like french toast and his son usually gets like an, a western omelet or something like that. So as they were leaving out this day, y'all, let me sh let me show you. One day as um they were leaving out, y'all, the um the lady comes up to me. She's like, "Honey, honey, is that your real hair?" And I oh. y'all let me show you what was in my head Susie Susie was in my head my Susie. Susie was in my head or whatever and while I play so freaking much I said I said yes this is my real hair like yes you want to touch it she was like oh oh so she grabs my hair like this like a handful she's like oh it is your real hell. And I'm staring like, bitch. My coworkers looking at me like, bitch, you play. They looking at me like, you play too much. Like, you play too much. I'm staring like, yes, I condition, I moisturize. It grows very long, very fast. She was just like, oh. I told my son, I don't like the fake hair. I don't like fake hair at all. I don't like it. But your hair. It's so beautiful. He tried to tell me it's nice. I said it is. It looks so nice. I said yes, girl. It's so. It's mine. It's my hair. Whole time. It's a wig, baby. You don't like fake hair, but you touching a wig. You like it. You like it. You like it. That was that was like really funny to me that day. That day was like hilarious. Uh, third craziest customer I've had was I was I think I was I wasn't even serving that day I was just expoing so if you work in a restaurant expoing is basically how you get your food in front of you so I was expoing I think I was like bagging it to go order it was early in the morning and this is 
older white lady that comes in all the time. She's super aggy, super aggy. She's one of those. This other dude, he came in. I have my phone in my back pocket, right? Mind you, I'm minding my business, trying to make sure these folks get their food. And they come over here saying they got I was bagging the food or whatever. Then this dude, I'm minding my business. This dude walks in, and the lady that was coming, they sitting at the bar. The bar is like right here. I'm like, the line is right here, so people sitting at the bar can see me right here in, in the little space. So I'm just sitting there bagging food. One of the older ladies, she's already sitting down at the bar. Dude come, he sit down. They're not together or nothing. They just sit down around the same time. So he tells me, you're going to get butt cancer. Guess what color he was? I said, excuse me? He said, you keep in front of your back pocket, you're gonna get butt cancer. In my head, I'm like, first of all, there ain't no such thing as butt cancer. Like, what are you saying to me? What are you saying to me? And then the lady next to him, yep, mm-hmm. Put her two cents, mm-hmm. I'm like, y'all both loud and wrong. Like, loud and wrong. So I'm just looking at them like, do me a favor, kiss my ass. No, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, like I'm not. I'm not. So then I was like, yeah, the radio waves off your phone are gonna go into your body. And I'm just like, I said, sir, do you own a microwave? He said, yeah. I said, so why, why are you telling me I'm gonna butt cancer if you own a microwave? You're gonna get brain cancer eating food out of the microwave. Like, if you felt like that. And then he was like, no, you're not, because you know the microwave has a little shield that protects or whatever that protects you from the microwaves or whatever. And I'm just like, okay, but your food still is goes inside of it and you eat it. So, and then they shut up. And then y'all, this man took it a step further. He was gonna argue with me about I, about how I I told him I was like, we he just was like one of those people that just went from one thing to the next to the next to the next. He started talking about um, um, vaccines and just all kinds of crazy stuff. And I was like, well, a lot of minority groups are weary, can be weary of vaccines and stuff due to the fact that they're always like targeted or whatever, like the Tuskegee trials. Like I forgot what was going around at that time. It was something happening in Africa and they were testing some medicine out there. And I was like, hmm. Like it was, it was some controversy going around, and I think I want to say it was like in Tanzania. It was either Tanzania or Kenya, one of those. Anyway, he started going off about how that doesn't really happen or whatever. That's never really happened, and I was looking at him like, sir, have you ever heard of the Tuskegee trial? Like, I said, have you? Did you? You ever heard of the syphilis like thing? Like. The government purposely put syphilis into poor black communities to like test stuff. Like you didn't. You... Have you ever had a college education? Ah! And then he was just looking at me like him and the lady. They were just looking at me like, like I was speaking a foreign language, and I was like, that's why. You need to mind your business and let me do my job and just tell me I'm gonna have butt cancer because you over here don't know what you're talking about at all. And then the fact, and then on top of that, the man was driving a drop top. So I'm like, if you're that concerned about fumes and chemicals and stuff like that and waves, why are you riding around in a drop top pollution exhaust blowing the ball back in your face? That's just me. I was just confused on why he was. I, uh, what you want me to do? I don't know. That was just real crazy to me. Fourth. This is number four. The fourth funniest, like, silliest, craziest customer I had. It was early in the morning. And it was kind of, it was pretty busy right at that time. Because it, we just had the opener server. And I was food running. So, I was bringing the plates and stuff out. To people in the opening server i was helping him out or whatever because there's just one and i love him so much shout out to you 
But um, me and him were working or whatever, and we were just doing our thing. And then out of nowhere, this guy comes in. He has long dark hair. He's on the phone, very loud. He um, he goes like this, and then <laughs> my coworker is like, "You want to sit there?" Like, and he's just like. So my coworker just takes the menu, puts them at the table like here. See your phone. Oh, okay. okay. So the guy's sitting there, sitting there, sitting there. My coworker goes by. He gets him some coffee. He's still just sitting there on the phone, just blah 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 blah. So we like, okay, like when do you want to take your order? Like what's going on or whatever. He's just like running his mouth on the phone. So we just kind of let him be. When we usually will cut to him like that, I just let him do their thing. And if anything, I let them fly me now when they're ready, pretty much. But I, I make myself visible enough so they can see me if, whenever they're ready. So that's basically what Corey was doing. I mean, he was busy. He was taking care of all of the tables and the guy was sitting there running his mouth on the phone and he just kept giving us the one minute finger. So, out of nowhere y'all I'm standing up front just like at the drink station like I can see this man so I'm standing up front or whatever the man gets up y'all he said you're busy she's busy I don't like this coffee I'm out y'all just like that he shouted it across the restaurant all everybody all the tips and stuff like sir I was like Don't know if he was still on the phone or not, y'all. I don't know who he was talking to. But y'all. That jump was hilarious. Like, y'all don't understand. That that jump was so funny to me. And I just I just laughed at him and was like, okay. See you later. Have a good day. And the customer started giggling because I told him have a good day. But I was like, I'm serious. Like, have a good day. Like, you look stressed. You look stressed out. But that jump was really funny. But y'all. I've been saving this last story, this last experience I encountered for the longest. All right, I've been saving it. This is the one. Number five. One night I was serving. It was me and my good pal Trivi Stay. His name is not really Trivi Stay, but I call him Trivi Stay. It was me and Trevi Stay. We were sitting, doing our job, whatever, slowing down, or whatever. This one of our regulars, he was a regular, he comes in, he sits down at the bar. He's clearly faded, like he's clearly drunk, like. Oh! Somebody, oh! He God. needs some milk! He was smashed, like his eyes were bloodshot red. He was like, mm -hmm. And I was just like, oh my God, he's really drunk. So this drunk man, he comes in, he sits down at the bar, and I told Trivista said, Trivista, he's not like he's drunk. I mean, he's super drunk. And then Trivista was like, oh, he just got a Bloody Mary, and um, he got a to-go order, so he's gonna drink the Bloody Mary while he went on to-go order. Trivista made the Bloody Mary, put it in front of him, got was sitting there, during his buddy Mary, during his buddy Mary. And, but he just kept looking like this. So I was just like, what is going on? I look like, what is going on, bro? Like, bro, what are you doing? Just drink your buddy Mary. So boom, he drinking the buddy Mary real weird, real sketchy. His to go food right there, gave him the fuck to go food. He like, I'm just gonna use my bloody mirror. So I'm like, all right, all right. He like, all right, do it right here. Relax, 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 relax. So he's sitting there chilling, y'all. He's chilling. I 
out of nowhere. I'm, I, I kind of walked to the back of the restaurant, but I could still see the bar. But you can't really see me. I don't know where. Uh, Chaviste went on a patio for like two seconds. This man saw his opportunity. He said, this is it. So he sees his opportunity. He's like, okay, I'm gonna do it. This man, I watched the man grab his Bloody Mary and he bolted out the door. Just ran, y'all. He ran with the book. He, <laughs> he ran out the restaurant with the Bloody Mary glass in his hand. And I'm just like, bro, bro, I'm not finna chase you. That's out of my pay grade. You know, mm mm. And the man ran out with the Bloody Mary, but he paid for it. He paid. But he ran. He ran off on the floor twice. I'm just kidding. No. He ran for real. And it was hilarious. It was hilarious. I was like, oh my God, he really ran. And he was one of our regulars. So it was really crazy for him to do that. So it's like, you come to this restaurant all the time and you gonna run out with the Bloody Mary. Now you can't come back in here. But y'all... That's it. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed my crazy experiences so far as a server. Just working in the restaurant period. I'm sure some of you who are servers can relate or like working in a restaurant. Can relate to some of the crazy stuff that happens. Like working in a restaurant, you really see stuff that you wouldn't expect to see. Like really working in a restaurant for me has opened my eyes up to so much crazy stuff. It can be really comical at times or really aggy at times, but it's all in day's work. I love my, I like my job right now. It's pretty good because how I'm making money through college or whatever. But I'm grateful. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next Monday. Peace.